yo what's going on boys now you might notice this is a little bit different than what i normally do on this channel we are checking out the game called over prime if you don't know or you've lived under a rock for your entire life there used to be a game called paragon there is now a game called predecessor and there is also this game called over prime there is all of these competing games for the assets that paragon had that everybody loved and for some reason it went under but who knows all i know is i am hyped to check out this game um it just came out today for the closed beta all you have to do though to get signed up for this closed beta is just go on to steam sign up do your thing um and you'll get an invite to just play the game it is open for 11 days and uh test it out now i if you don't know who i am my name's sam i'm a gm dueler in uh in smite basically i'm the highest rank you can be i've hit number one in the world in smite uh quite a few times let's see what these do this looks like a starting item i'll purchase that how much gold do i have one 100 uh i'll grab two mana pots and a health pot and i think that'll set me up and this will launch me somewhere now, i'm going solo lane i think this is solo lane i could be completely wrong but uh so basically this has a couple of things you can do with it so uh as you see originally right like you see my mana down at the bottom bar down um I don't actually know how I can show you. It's down here. My mana and my health. Down here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you'll see that I have... Oh, I think I went to duo side. Well, let's go to solo side. But um, you'll see that I have... My sprint has to boot up. And then if you get hit during your sprint, you actually get kicked out of it and sent to... Or and, and put down into a root. Now, you actually start with one level in each of your abilities. Obviously, your auto attack is your left click. Your right click is a bonus uh, attack. And your uh, Q and your E also do damage. Um, and I don't know. Honestly, I played the tutorial. It seems really sick. I'm fighting somebody named Moi. I don't exactly know what their character does. But it's a lot... This is a lot more like League of Legends. In the sense that... Um, you don't actually get money for something. Unless you last hit it. Now what does my... Oh, I just used my one. Alright, I gotta use my health pot here. We are honestly trading not even that poorly right now. I just want to make sure that I'm last hitting is, is the most important thing. Making sure you're getting that money. Now I can hold left control and level up my ability, which I am going to do. Level up my Q here. My Q is just going to be flowing, doing some more damage. Now I know I definitely do not want to aggro. There you go. Another level. I'm actually going to level my right click here. Triple tap that guy. And I just want to have a lot of pressure on this character right here. You might notice my mana doesn't run out too quickly. And it's mainly because I'm not really spamming abilities. But, but um, regardless, I think this is a lot more like league of legends in the sense where you're actually you build a couple of uh your items or like tiered items i suppose is what you want to call it but you'll build a couple of tier of items before you actually start um i guess getting your full items online when you start getting a lot of power level my queue up one more time my queue seems like my best poking ability and then yeah i'm just really just last hitting here and then backing i assume you have to back to purchase items like do in most games 
I don't see the jungler on the map anywhere, so I'm a little nervous that I might get ganked. But then again, maybe I'm insane. And uh, junglers in this game have a whole lot to deal with and don't have time to gank all the time. It's really nice that your... Uh, it's really nice that your abilities do not need a crazy amount of mana. Now, I obviously, I'm going to just go through these key items. I have 1,100 gold. Um, I'll buy 10% attack speed. And then two of these. And then probably some more health pots. And then throw myself back over here. Now, again, I have to press shift here. And you'll see that little circle in the middle. It'll go away. Or it'll, you know, it'll fade away. And when it's fading, I get to sprint. I am level... Where do I see my level? I'm level 5. You can see it in the bottom right. I'm level 5. My enemy is level 4. I'm not exactly sure where he's going. But I am down to, to fight him. My Q is going to slow him. Oh, he teleported. Hmm. I wonder if he teleported to... The only other teleporter I see is in the left lane all the way over there in that duo lane. I wonder if it kept him all the way over there or if... Um... Oh no, he seems to have come back just now. I'm going to be aggressive. Hmm... I'll use another health pot here. Oh, I do have my ultimate now. Now, I don't even... I don't even, even know what my ultimate does yet, so... It's gonna take a second, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dash in and I'm gonna full send. Oh my god. That did a lot of damage. Holy... Let's go. Massive kill. Massive kill. I'm going to take this time to back. How much gold did that give me? I have, I have 800 gold. I have 800 gold. I'm actually not backing. Because I think the jung jungler just ganked dual lanes. So. Um, and again, I'm just going to level my Q up. Back is very long. Um, let's see. I Again, I have a thousand. I can buy this item. And then I'll buy this item. Give me 15 physical power and more, um, more attack speed. And yeah, I mean, really, this is like Smite meets League of Legends. My first opinions over this game is absolutely incredible. Um... Absolutely incredible. It runs really smooth for a closed beta game. You expect it to be kind of shitty. But um, it actually runs very, very smoothly. And, um, oh, God, you just shot me in the head, huh? I think I do want to fight you, actually. I don't think I'm too scared of you. Oh, I didn't even see you there, bud. I did not even see you there. Nice. I slow hit him. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be spamming my Q to poke a little bit. And now that you're a little bit low, I'm going to ult you. Massive, dude. Let's go. All right, I put my shift back on right after my kill. Make sure I'm not getting ganked. But I seem to be okay, so I'll stay for this wave. Now, I don't know how much gold I actually need. I know that I need about 1,200 for that one item. I also don't know if... um, Because I want to build this, right? Which I'm 1,700 away. 
but 1200 will at least give me one uh one tier of the item can i if i press e will it send me backwards it will so my jump ability which is my e will actually uh which i can show you here will jump me in a direction uh it'll jump me in a direction that oh i just realized can i oh well that's his ultimate i just got hit with this alt okay i was messing around just now i needed i wanted to see how much uh my stuff could do because my e which i originally thought was just a little jump actually gives me a grenade which is my q which is insane i didn't even realize i didn't even realize that i'm gonna stay in base for just a second you get three gold per second so it's not like i'm missing out on too much here here we go we have eight to three at the moment eight to three at the moment unfortunately you can't actually um what is it called you can't actually i think well i don't know i was gonna say you can't actually gank really effectively in this game considering i don't think anyone's actually ganked but maybe it's just because they haven't ganked a solo lane probably just because they haven't ganked solo lane um but anyways back to my comparisons about league of legends and smite they're extremely similar games in the sense that they're mobas they're the same genre they just have different audiences based on basically uh excuse me based on what the audience is mainly click to move but i think the stealth aspect of league of legends is really nuts did you just gank me you did oh oh damn he's got some good damage can i see can i see what he built oh he's got a lot of damage items i got a lot of damage items too three percent life steal interesting i can actually finish this item which gives me what i can activate it now to give me 30 percent movement speed okay that's another thing is league of legends has active items whereas in smite you have the relics obviously and you have um um relics consumables stuff like that but in league of legends you have those consumables and those relics in your item slots that you have to then use to actually um give you you know that advantage they don't just they're not automatic and take up no no space so not to mention last hitting in smite is relatively irrelevant so it basically it doesn't matter is what i'm saying and the invisibility in the bushes and the other stuff is really cool i am now going to gank this middle lane because i don't think that he would be expecting it. Ventilator ready. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right, so I chased him a bit there. I chased him a bit. I think my mid laner died, so I'm going to clear out his lane for him. I killed mid lane, and then I cleared out his lane. I am a couple levels ahead, I think, of this other guy. What is this? What does that do? This thing was 100 mana and 200 mana over 5 seconds. Oh. Okay. My tower is getting pooped on, dude.
Hold on, I'm keeping my distance. Oh, he just blinked somewhere, I think. Hmm. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. There he is. I knew, I knew he ran, dude. I knew he ran. But I also knew there's no way you got that far, man. There we go. So I'm ganking now. I'm doing amazing stuff for my team here. I'm level 11. Let's see what my team is. 10, 7, 8, 9. So I am the highest level. I assume I should be as the solo laner. But, um, I don't know. Someone's over in my lane, I guess, just chilling. I'm going to go and buy some more items. I already have this. So I can buy these two, and then this will be extremely cheap when I get it next. And I'll buy a couple health pots to keep me topped up. I don't really know uh, if I have any lifesteal items. I have to check real quick. Um, This gives me a little bit of lifesteal. So this item will give me 10% lifesteal. And increase my life steal more when I'm low HP, which is amazing. So it's basically this game's version of Aussie. All right. So something to note in Smite and in League of Legends, actually, in both of them, they have in both of those games they have two towers. Then they have a Phoenix, and then they have a Titan, or you know whatever they're called. But basically, they have multiple objectives blocking them. In this game, you have one tower. If you lose that tower, it feels horrible. Oh my god, I played that so well. So basically, my Q gives me another charge of my grenade, and my gr grenade gives me a slow. So I used my... my. Uh... Oh, hold on. I got a massive gank here. Oh no! No. Oh God, he hit me. Oh, let's go, dude. I got him. Oh my God. I'm nuts. I'm actually nuts. That's insane. I can't believe I killed that guy. All right, huge back. I'll buy actually just a couple of health pots and I finished my lifesteal item and now I have where are my stats oh here are my stats I have 163 physical power I have a little bit of pen a decent amount of attack speed actually and 10% crit rate 13% oh we won dude let's go let's go Dude, I don't know. I actually, like, <laughs> I just had so much fun playing this game, actually. I don't know. That was sick. That was sick. Look at that. I got seven kills, two deaths, no assists. My mid laner. No, I'm sorry. Not my mid laner. My ADC got nine kills. Their team did not have a whole lot of fun. Good stuff, dude. Great stuff. So... Just a rundown. Overprime is a Paragon uh, follower, right? They have the same assets as Paragon. It's a League of Legends Smite mix, bringing kind of the best of both things into the game. Smite's a, a need for aiming your auto attacks and every ability in order to be good at the game. So um, a more increase in skill in terms of aiming. And League of Legends, more increase in skill in terms of using the invisibility and active items at all stages of the game and um the the force to being forced into last hitting for an actual sustainable amount of gold in order to keep up and farm and xp and um they just smashed it into one game called it over prime and predecessor like i said they're direct competitors but i don't know man it's a it's a very fun game and i gotta tell you i'm gonna probably just I'm going to stream this game for a while. This is this is a pretty fun game. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, boys. Peace.